The following segment is sponsored by Disney on Ice. Get ready to experience the magic of Disney like never before right here in Utah. Leo, Kadia, and Ashley are here to tell us all about Mickey's Search Party. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thanks for having us. Of course, it's great <laughs> to see you. Okay, so I'm going to get to these beautiful skirts in just a little bit. We'll talk about what they are. Okay, so what makes Mickey's Search Party different from other Disney on Ice shows that have come to Salt Lake City, would you say? Yeah, so Mickey's Search Party is a really fun, exciting, and I feel very interactive show. We have two live hosts that really bring the audience with them into the stories that we tell during our show. And we have seven different amazing Disney stories that we talk about during our show. Wow, seven, that's so cool. Okay, Ashley, can you give us a sneak peek into the journey with Miguel from Coco? Of course, so uh, with Miguel, we also have skeleton girls and boys, and the girls wear these beautiful dresses. And they were teaching me how to like move it up, so it's the movement, it's the it's button. Up. I got it, okay. Go. They are gorgeous. Disney's known for their amazing costumes. Okay, and Leo Cadia, what was it like <laughs> combining acrobatics with traditional ice skating? Yeah, so we have a lot of um, acrobatics in our show. Our show is actually one of the first Disney on Ice shows to bring acrobatics along with skating into the show. And I feel that it really brings another dimension of performance to an ice show and is kind of an unexpected touch that audiences may not expect. They think Disney on Ice, oh, it was ice skating. Like, obviously we love that, but mm -hmm. it just brings the performances to new heights quite literally. Yeah, the next level, <laughs> and Disney goes big. Okay, Ashley, how can fans interact with the characters and how does it impact the storytelling in your opinion? Uh, so the host, as long uh, with the pirates as well, end up interacting with the audience with some other members as well. You can reach out with the sway poles. Cool. They reach down and same with our like skeleton uh, puppets. They reach out to the audience and you can sing and dance along with all the different stories. Okay, that's so fun. Um, Leo Katie, why did you start skating and when did you start? Well, I started skating when I was four. I'm now 24, so I've been skating for 20 years now. Um, I started skating because my brother, who's older, my mom put my brother in a learn to skate program and like the jealous little sister, I just <laughs> had to learn. Had so to I it. made her sign me up for classes the next season, and it was history from there. And I never stopped. I'm sure glad. <laughs> um, Ashley, what do you love most about performing with Disney on Ice? I do it for the kids. The best part is getting to see their smiles every time. It's so true. I mean, kids and adults and, you know, kids at heart, of course, are just <laughs> lighting up when they see the show. It is absolutely magic. They bring it right here to Salt Lake City. Where can we go to buy tickets? You can go to DisneyOnIce.com and you can pick what time works best for you. Okay, perfect. And it starts tonight? It starts tonight. That's all our opening the weekend. Night. All okay. throughout the weekend. Amazing. You don't want to miss it, you guys. Thank you, Ashley and Leo Cadia. Congrats on the show. Can't wait to see it. Thank Great you to so see you. Much. Thank you. I better do this.